Mode set. Executing. What's up, gamers? It's your boy, CDROM 1019. Welcome back to Tales of Monkey Island, Rise of a Pirate God. Okay, so, we've still got some... Uh-oh. may as well give up. You don't scare me, LeChuck. Oh, I'm not trying to scare you. I'm just gonna kill you. I was leaving anyway. Damn. Chill out. It's fine. I don't need to go through there anymore. Okay, so I've got a few things, but I don't know what to do with them yet. And all I really know is that I need to do the opposite of the feast for La Sponja Grande. Um, the only person who might know more about what's going on here... Is, uh, that other guy. Where is he? Oh, wow. There's the sponge. La Esponja Grande is sucking up the voodoo energy from the crossroads and transferring it to LeChuck. Maybe I can just push it. <sighs> nope. Hmm. Okay. This ain't where I want to be. I meant to go here. Hey, Caleb. Hi, Caleb. Oh, hello again. So, let's see. Can you help me reverse the spell? Can you help me reverse this spell? You said you were a connoisseur of the occult, right? Beast of the senses. Trying to watch your figure, eh, Porky? What? No, it's not for me, obviously. It's for... Don't worry, carnivorous wood. Oh, come on. That doesn't even sound like three foot. Losing weight is easy if you follow a strict diet. Here, try this. No, I don't need a diet. I... Never mind. Hmm. Diet of the senses. Like a sponge, you are bloated in your hips and thighs. Block out the sight with a cover for your eyes. The smallest mouth snacks on a tiny whispered word. A sound so petite it is barely heard. A light touch for an appetizer. Stay true and thrive. A delicate feather plucked from a bird half alive. Your sixth sense is bloated with fates not yet dealt. You'll find that a secret will help tighten your belt. Fight the smell of the after-dinner treat. Eliminate odor and the urge to eat. To keep off the weight, you need food with no flavor. Find a taste so bland there's nothing to savor. Okay, so that's our recipe. We've got two of the pieces, and I know where we can find a couple more. First of all, we need something that'll help block out odor. Thankfully, Winslow left some deodorant right on the raft. And he's gone. Okay. Oh, that's because he Winslow's went to help house. everyone. I guess he gave up on it. Okay. I'm going to take this. Old Groot, the pirate alternative to bathing. This might help stave off that fresh corpse smell I'm starting to notice. And let's see. So there's that. Whoa! Um, let's look at this. Whoop, shoot. Look at this again. And we got the belt buckle, we got the feather, we got the deodorant. Hmm. Diet of the senses. Uh, let's see. So we need the uh, something with no flavor. The last thing we had that didn't have any taste in it was that gum in the jail cell. So we could probably go back and get a piece of that. Hey, WP. Hey, WP. Hold on a tick. I've almost got my stroke back. Hey, take me to jail. I surrender. Take me to jail. For what? For kidnapping my own body. Good enough. Let's go. Hmm. Bug guy's not here anymore. A taste so bland there is nothing to savor. This ABC gum should fit the bill. Okay, let's see. That's four pieces. Hmm. Diet of the senses. Like a sponge, you are bloated in your hips and thighs. 
block out the sight with a cover for your eyes. The smallest mouth snacks on a tiny whispered word, a sound so petite it is barely heard, a light touch for an appetizer, stay true and thrive, a delicate feather plucked from a bird half alive. Your sixth sense is bloated with fates not yet dealt. You'll find that a secret will help tighten your belt. Fight the smell of the after Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I just... I let that go on for too long. Okay, so... Mm. Guess I'll head back to the block out the sight. The only thing we could really do to block out the sight is use a blindfold. We needed to use a blindfold to enter Club 41. I wonder if there's one still here. What? About a Thanks. what? Back in my regular digs. Only slightly worse for wear. Considering. Um, okay. Um... Oh, hey, there's a blindfold. How come there's only one of these? I thought all probationary members had to wear blindfolds. Probationary members? There are no probationary members here. But your bouncer said... Ho, oh, ho, ho, that rock rib. Always good for a laugh. Hmm, okay. Sound. Hmm, diet of the senses. Sounds so petite that it's barely heard. That sounds a lot like the pyrite parrots that we couldn't catch earlier. We're probably going to need a ma uh, fishnet for that, but I know where we can get one. Alright, back one more time to the raft. Should have thought to pick that up last time I was there. Come on. Get... There we go. Alright. Geronimo, one more time. Cool, here's the net. Let's grab that. A fish net woven of the finest meshes. Okay. And let's go. Up we go. One more stop. Uh, let's see. Two treasure hunt. Okay, I guess this is the only treasure I'm going to get. Stupid cursed whispery parrot. Use the oh wait, I gotta get closer first. Aha! Now I got you, tiny little parrots. Oh, they're like tiny annoying golden mosquitoes. Works for me. Okay. That should be all six pieces. <clears throat> Let's put this sponge on a diet. Hey, my parrots are leaving. Come wait. on back, little guys. Ah oh, well, there are probably plenty more. Oh, yeah, I didn't think that through. Um, are they gone? No, they're still here, but the game kind of bugged out. Alright. Okay, I guess this is the only treasure I'm going to get. Stupid cursed whispery parrot. Now I got you, tiny little parrots. Oh, they're like tiny, annoying, golden mosquitoes. Yeah, I should have thought to put the mosquitoes in the tip jar. Sorry, guys. I need to keep you in a more contained space than my jacket pockets. All right, there we go. Now we've got all six pieces. Uh, 
Okay. Back to the center. Alright, this sponge needs to go on a diet immediately. Okay, let's see. Blind it. Like a sponge, you are bloated in your hips and thighs. Block out the sight with a cover for your eyes. This blindfold ought to do the trick. And oh hey, I have the I have the hook on the diamond ring again. The smallest mouth snacks on a tiny whispered word. A sound so petite it is barely heard. Bon voyage, my barely audible buddies. Okay, a light touch. A light touch for an appetizer, stay true and thrive. A delicate feather plucked from a bird half alive. Uh, let's see. Tighten your belt. That doesn't need to be charmed. Uh, wait. To keep off the weight, you need food with no flavor. Find a taste so bland there's nothing to savor. Oh, Hello, that's... sponge. Chew on this for a while. I did that out of order, but whatever. Fight the smell of the after-dinner treat. Eliminate odor and the urge to eat. Fights odor and wetness for the active pirate. And sponges. Alright, the belt buckle. That doesn't need to be charmed. Um, perhaps I'm missing something. I have... Oh, right. Um... You know what? I am missing something. Uh, let's go back to the thieves' den. That secret was actually kind Welcome of important. Back, friend. So hey, I have a charming belt buckle. I'd like to trade this for this. Uh, not the chair. That for the. Need to be charmed. I'd like to ch trade this for the box. That doesn't need to be charmed. Okay, can I just give it to you? Take a look at this. Nice find, friend. Did you steal that yourself? I did. I snatched it right off LeChuck's belt. Hmm, I trust that you did. Yeah? What if I told you that I stole this from a three-headed mermaid who had come here from the future riding a giant space turtle? I trust you, friend. If you say it's true, then I believe you. Can I have this? Nice secret you've got there. Care to share it with me? Hmm. Normally I wouldn't trust a thief like yourself, but there is just something about you. Oh, that's just the enchanted voodoo charm talking. What? Oh, nothing. Mm -hmm. That's right. That Okay, that makes sense. That belt buckle was charmed. Or er, so I was putting the charm on him and he let me go. come back soon, friend. He let me take that because I was charming him. I didn't think about that. That pirate thief stole my voodoo trust charm. He's good. Whatever. Don't really need it anyway. All right. Here's what we were missing. Your sixth sense is bloated with fates not yet dealt. You'll find that a secret will help tighten your belt. One sponge shrinking secret coming up. Uh oh. I hope that's not indigestion. <coughs> ah! what? Ah, don't you think what you did can't be undone? Elaine will be my demon bride come hell or high water. Guybrush, help! The voodoo lady, she brought me back. The voodoo lady? Think of all the peril that woman has put you in. You've been blindly led around by her for so long, Guybrush. But without her... Attack, my fishy friends! Hey! Hit him with the old backward sea slug! Ah, enough of this! This be going on far too long. Elaine is mine, my demon bride, to make me a kingly breakfast each morning, to see to it that my fortress of evil is kept tidy in case we have guests over to torture, to patch up all my worn out tattered socks, 
and go. To kill you? That's my Laney Poo. You're right, sweetie. He doesn't give you much to work with, does he? Uh oh. Ahem. Excuse us a moment, Guybrush. The wifey and I need to have a little private talk. Whoa! What? A futile, if admirably treacherous gesture, my buttercup. Even without La Esponja's help, I've already sucked up so much power that I can simply step into the crossroads and take as much voodoo energy as I desire. <laughs> you see, you can temporarily destroy my body, Elaine, but you cannot damage my spirit. Oh, my spirit! Hmm. Take that, you big, ugly, undead voodoo stealing bunch back toad! Oh, uh, Morgan? Well, what are you doing here? And where did you get that sword? Look, we can kill a Chuck, but we have to find a way to take him on in both the physical and the spiritual plane at the same time! Do what now? Look out! I'll be back for you, lass. Let's shock! <laughs> Think of all the times you tried to destroy me. Uh, <laughs> to be fair, oh. Ow. all that pain, all that suffering. Now, just imagine what I'm going to do to you, Sorry, Pod. Ah, all right. So we need to get him. We need to hurt him in the spiritual and physical plane at the same time. Uh, so let's see. Let's look around here. Uh, let's see. Uh, but Chuck, oh, you've kidnapped Elaine. You've strung me up in lame traps, zapped me with a voodoo doll. You've tried to force me to be your undead slave, but never tried to kill me so brazenly. Which is the greatest mistake I ever made. What? Mind the drop. Oh. Wasn't ready for that. And now Lane's in trouble. Laneykins, mm. oh, We can stop the Chuck, but we have to do it when he's crossing between worlds. I'll try to lure him across. You stab him with the cutlass. I'll fight tooth and nail for you, Guybrush. Um. Uh, hey, Lane. Uh. Be careful. Yeah, I'm not ready for her help yet. Uh, Lane is doing a better job with that skeleton army than I'm doing with Lechuk. So you remember the um? A bunch of barrels containing God knows what. Uh, they're locked up tight. Away from me, limited vintages of grog. We'll crack open the finest over your shriveled cars. Uh, let's see. You always Oop. wanted to be a pirate, isn't that right? Oh, or a fireman. Or an astronaut. Ah, you know. You're not a real pirate until you've had the plunder and pleasure of being keelhauled on this ship. Many a crewman has seen the underside of this ship, but none were as sniveling and sorry as you. Okay. Well, there were keys there. Probably gonna need those. Did we enjoy our little swim? <sighs> Refreshing. <laughs> <laughs> you look spent, Swabby. Perhaps you ought to rest a spell. Off to your quarters. Uh, let's see. There's a part of me that imagines LeChuck's cabin with pastel walls. <laughs> uh, oh, there's a broken door here. Um, yeah, so I'm not ready to use this yet. 
it. So cute. Watching my dear Elaine swing that sword like she knows what she's doing. Did it ever occur to you that I know more about that cursed cutlass than all of ye barnacle brains? Ah! Oh. Okay, crow's nest. So I need to do two things here. So I need. I don't see the. Should be a cannon here somewhere, but before I forget. I've always wanted to try this. Yeah, I'm Guybrush Streetwood. Mighty Pi. Ooh. Whoa. Okay. Oh. Hey, Elaine. Hey, <laughs> uh, attack with Chuck. Wait, did I? Well, this guy's starting to get on my nerves. Damn, nice Wayne. You think that's bad? Try being engaged to him. He wanted a pineapple wedding cake with chocolate fondant icing. What a <laughs> jerk! Bill hauling is no laughing matter. All right, so I have to wait until he. Yep. Would you mind inspecting me hull for me? Oh, it's full of holes. We should really take her into port. Get a nice mug of grog. Ugh, talk about the good old days. I think today will become my good old days. That should. Stop it, you yep. Lunch, just maggot mating ground. <laughs> Elaine, not even you and your flimsy sword can stop me now. Let's oh yeah. Try. So I was gonna say this should remind you of the sequence at the end of uh, uh, Curse of Monkey Island. I'll take these. I'm not done with you. Okay, so we're still not ready to be over here yet. There's a broken door here, but we need to use uh we need to use something first. It's so cute watching my dear Elaine swing that sword like she knows what she's doing. Did it ever occur to you that I know more about that cursed cutlass than all of ye barnacle brains? Ah! Oh! Okay, I'm back up here. So, I can use my hook on this rope, but I'm not quite ready to do that yet. So I'm just going to have to wait this out. Why are you doing this? I'm tired of putting up with you. And I just love the sound you make when you hit the deck. Okay, I've got the keys now. Quit making a mess. I'm going to swab my deck with your scraggly excuse for a beard. And I'll get thrown back into the cabin. <laughs> So from here, let's use the door with this loose barrel. All right, that's something. All right, I think think everything almost everything's in place. Let's take the rope. 
try to fly away, little peepwood. Uh. If I can get back into the crossroads, at least the Chuck won't have as much sea hardened ship to smash me into. Hmm. Oh, here's a giant cannon. A giant demonic cannon of doom. That will be just big enough for me to hide in. Hmm. I'll have to make use of that. It looks like it's pointing directly at the rip, so that'll help. You know what's so great about this? Ah! We're both getting our cardio in for the day? The simplicity. It's just you, me, my ship. Elaine! And no voodoo lady. By Blackbeard's boots, I hate that woman. Now I think it's time for you to swap the deck. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Ah. Let's see, saw. Let's see. Huh. Let me stand on this, and then, oop. Oh! Trying to blast yourself to safety? Blow yourself up in defeat. I think I did that out of sequence. Hold on a second. Elaine. Underbunny. Uh, light the cannon, please. And stand on the seesaw. Seesaw. Let's see. Huh. Oh, whoops. Yeah, uh, so I messed up the sequence, so that's why that happened. But no problem. We'll just get it right this time. out how I can't wait for you to give up and just go away all right let's light the cannon now Elaine Why brush? light the cannon again I'm on it sweetie And then stand on the seesaw. The seesaw. Let's see. Huh. Yep. Why brush? Oh my god, you look terrible. Uh, the Chuck's giving me a bit of the business. can get cozy together when I'm done giving Threepwood his painful and permanent farewell into the afterlife. Ow! Ah! <sighs> the only way we were told to close this is to sacrifice our shred of life, according to Galeb. Guybrush, what are you doing? It's the only way. What? Is it over? Hello? Did we win? Morgan? Where'd you go? I guess we did. Hmm. Well, we seem to have won. Uh, the center of the crossroads. Guess I'm stuck here for good now. Hmm. Maybe. Well, it worked. La Esponja is grande no more. That's true. I still have a Wayne's ring. Courage, anchor, direction, sacrifice. Place these things in a ring at the center of the crossroads. Ah, clever. Wow! 
Wow, what a rush. Hey, my hand is back. Oh. Guybrush! Oh, it's about time. It is? Wait, you were expecting me? But I was dead. Is that why you gave me... You should know enough to trust me by now, Guybrush Threepwood. But you asked LeChuck to make you a demon bride. How did you know I would be able to bring you back from that? After all these years and all of our adventures, two things are certain. That I always have a plan, and that Guybrush Threepwood will always come for me when I need him most. Ah. Uh, let's see. That was your master plan? That was your master plan? You have more faith in me than I thought. Well, the important thing now is that LeChuck is gone. For good this time. And you are finally free from whatever fate was planned for you and LeChuck. And that's what this whole Esponja Grande thing has been about, huh? Actually, it's pronounced Esponja with an H sound at the end. Really? But we've all been saying Esponja. Yes, I know. It's been bothering me this whole time. I'm just telling you because I don't want you to look silly. Ah, uh, bittersweet. So, I don't know how I feel about that ending. Because, like, he gave up he gave up the last shred of, of life he was clinging on to to come back. So, by all means, he shouldn't have been able to return. And then he had a ring that he could use. He somehow did another spell. And somehow it works even though he doesn't have his last shred of life. And it just... I don't... I, I was really hoping that ring thing would be more grandiose. But that's it, everybody. That is Tales of Monkey Island. And if you've been watching with me since we played Monkey Island Special Edition, you've uh, experienced the entirety of the franchise with me. For, I don't know, that was probably my third time. Da -da -da -da.
Ah, uh, you, yes, you, we're thanked. child. Have you done as I asked? I have. Now for your end of the deal. Yes, your actions have influenced your fate. I will allow your ghostly form to return to the physical realm to carry on as a fearsome pirate hunter. Ghost pirate hunter, Morgan LaFlay. I think I'm going to enjoy this. Perhaps. You have chosen your own fate. Now go. There is much work to be done before the tides of destiny shift again. <laughs> oh, ominous. It's, uh, sad to say that, uh, that, whatever that scene is, will never come to anything. Oh, yeah, and then they, uh, He's to return to Sam and Max, I think. It's sad, um, because they clearly had something they were planning to do with the voodoo lady, because, like, it's like, oh, you know, LeChuck saying, like, she was the root of all of this, and she's evil, she's the one that's been tricking you, and then taking Morgan, and giving Morgan a, a pathway back to life. Ah, uh, it's so sad. Disney, please... Please just sell sell Monkey Island back to Ron Gilbert. You're never going to use the license. You have Pirates of the Caribbean. We know it's going to it's going to conflict and we don't care. You have enough money. Like don't be jerks. Just sell it back to Ron Gilbert and let us get more Monkey Island. Oh, it makes me sad. Well, that is everything, everyone. That is the entirety of the Monkey Island franchise. We got, uh, wow, we got 26 videos out of this. Can you believe that? All right, well, thank you, everybody, for joining me on this adventure. It's been great to relive all these. I, I hope and pray that one day we'll get an actual continuation of Monkey Island. Uh, what's next for me? Uh, I don't know yet. You'll have to keep watching uh, the videos on the GSL channel to find out. And follow the socials. And speaking of which, make sure you check out the rest of the videos on the GSL YouTube channel. Check out officialytr.com slash forums for more GSL and YTR fun. And don't forget at all to press the follow button on twitch.tv slash chaos control channel. <sighs> Until our next adventure, I've been CDROM1019. You've been you, and you have been awesome. Stay great, fam. Take care. Bye-bye.